than the negative low vibrational sounds. To really change your frequency and keep your vibrations high, you must listen to uplifting music. <laughs> We touch into your mind, body, and soul. So, 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 so. What up, what up, what up, my people? Jane Wise here for another one. Musical motivation. Why music plays an important aspect in your spiritual growth. Music is the fundamental element of this universe. Y'all heard me say it time and time again in my videos. Universe. One song. This is a musical realm and when we mean music, we're talking about sounds. Period. Or the void of sound. Sometimes in a song or a rhythm, a pause can be the true vibration in the chaos. Music is a feeling, and in these feelings come vibration. We are vibratory beings, vibrating at an extremely slower rate than we were in Atlantis and Lemuria, but still vibrating nonetheless. Music is a tool that we can use to get our vibrations right, but we want to be careful because certain music and sounds can put us in a low vibrational state. Some songs can lift our spirit and energy to joy, happiness, and love, but others can pull us down, make us really feel sad, depressed, and angry. What you listen to can have a big effect or reflection on what your energy brings. For example, we have a rapper down here in Houston named Zero. Zero was one of my favorite rappers at one point in my life. He rapped about the glorification of the struggle. Gave energy to being one deep, being poor and broke and all the rest of that vibe. In that point in time in my life, I was in such a low vibrational state, smoking and drinking all the time. I truly ever committed to one relationship. Depression plagued my being. Having the poor mindset that it was me against the world and I didn't look out for nobody but me, myself, and I. This was a time where I was lost and confused about who I truly was and what powers I possessed. One day I woke up and something told me this. Music is killing the integrity of who you are. I got rid of all that shit. All rap, period. Stopped listening to the radio stations and started to slowly and surely move to more positive and uplifting songs. Music is a strong key in your frequency and vibration. Now remember, music is everything in this universe. Universe, universe. One, one song. song. Go check out my Coco movie, Decoded. Your vibration resonates with sound. If you're listening to music that doesn't fill your spirit, then you might want to cancel that ASAP. Your spirit must be filled up with high vibrational music instead of low vibrational sounds all the time. Real music is anything that makes you hum. Stevie Wonder, Bobby Hammett, Brother Panic Lectures, Jazz, Soul Music. Anything that puts you into a resonance of positivity. So after my early 20s low frequency debacle, Toasty. my spirit wasn't feeling the radio play. These radio plays, these radio stations were circulating dead music that didn't make you nothing but sheep. Sheep like zombie thinking. 
I was trying to find myself and find an avenue to propel my life. I wasn't in full conscious mode yet and I was trying to figure out this thing called life. I heard some motivational videos on YouTube and thought it was genius and clever. It was music and motivation. I downloaded a bunch of the YouTube videos with motivational speakers that got smashed up. Shout out to all those motivational mashup channels on YouTube. And I started jamming that motivational music everywhere. Everywhere I went. Jamming it in the car, listening to it in the gym, everywhere. To the point where my partners used to get in the car and be like, what you on, bro? <laughs> Gay. Slowly but surely I was getting rid of all that radio play, that low vibrational energy music. Getting rid of all the negative energy music. Now listen, I wasn't in true consciousness yet. I heard Bobby but didn't understand him fully. I was unconsciously doing this thing and changing my whole narrative at the same time. My mindset was changing right before my eyes. I was listening to speakers like Les Brown, Eric Thomas, shit, even T.D. Jakes. All these mashed up motivational musics was raising my frequency before I even clearly understood what frequency and low vibration was. I was trying to get out of this stuck waiting for something to happen attitude. That music changed all that and made me into the chaos being I am today. From listening to the motivational mashups, my vibrations was high, and in my vibrations being high, I stepped into consciousness. Real consciousness. Music is key to raising your vibration. Not saying you can't listen to this new generation of rap, but you must fill your spirit up with way more positive thought-provoking sounds and music than the negative low vibrational sounds. To really change your frequency and keep your vibrations high, you must listen to uplifting music. In vibing right, you will in turn start manifesting your heart's desires because of the energy you're exuding to the world. Tap into the most easiest powerful tool you have at your disposal by listening to uplifting powerful music that fills your being. Remember, nothing rests, everything moves. So make sure you're vibing right. Dream wise.